2023, we are positioned in such a way, we are able to translate the anger on somebody, some party, into what's for BJP. That is always a question in politics. The anger against the politics, against a party, the votes don't get necessarily transferred to other party. But now BJP, by virtue of our organizational strength, hard work, the narrative we have, and the trust people have on the BJP in Telangana and in southern Indian states also, we are right now in a pole position to translate the anger on a ruling government to the votes for BJP. So that is happening. And I also hope, like many people here, we will come with a very good margin, not with, not with some seats. We will come with a good margin will be in a good position to deliver, take hard decisions to take Telangana forward. And you want any answers on the temple thing, sir? Not needed. You just gave an analysis. Okay. So since sir is asking a very specific question to Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu, the BJP has a declaration made, our senior leaders, when BJP comes to power with people's confidence, we will remove the ministry that is governing Hindu temples in Tamil Nadu. So Tamil Nadu, the Hindu temples are governed by a particular ministry, uh, the Temple Welfare Ministry. So for the reason we gave is, now the DMK government in power is hell-bent on taking temples revenue and building malls outside. Outside Thiruvannamalai Temple, a mall is getting built. They call that as a shopping complex. And outside the Mariamman Temple, Samayaburam near Trichy, a mall is getting built. 400 crore, 500 crore. The temple hundi money is not meant for building malls. Somebody wants a 30% corruption, somebody wants a 35% cut because some contractor close to the party is building. And of course, we have a lot of issues. They want to melt the temple's gold. The temple historically have gold jewelry that is presented to the temple from different times, right from the Chola's time, 1,000 years back. So we have a record of that gold, which is 1,000 years old. They want to destroy all those gold, make it into a gold bar and make money from it. Of course, the educational institutions they run, the modus operandi in appointing Archakas, the modus operandi in appointing the person who governed that temple. So we have problems in a lot of things. That is why we say we are a secular party. Nobody should touch a church. Nobody should touch a mosque. Nobody should touch a temple. So all this religious institution should be left governed to the people who practice that faith to run the way they deem seem fit. Of course, of course, we have a, have a controlling mechanism to make sure that nothing goes out of control. I think maybe the senior journalist, sir, is talking about that issues, how the money is being diverted here and there. Thank you, sir. Uh, the DMK uh, today has appealed to its cadres and wings in Telangana to uh, campaign for Congress candidates in the state. So how do you view this development? So I see this development as uh, in two ways. We all know DMK doesn't have any structure in uh, Telangana. When was the last time a DMK contested a municipality election year, or a corporation election, or a Sarpanch election, or a DMK contested an MLA election? Of course, there, is, there are Dravidian parties in Tamil Nadu who, have, who had some structure in Karnataka some time back, where they had MLAs in Karnataka, a party in Karnataka. It only shows the fear of Congress. They want to bring a different party in Telangana like DMK to make an appeal to its cadre. I don't know what cadres DMK has got in Telangana. It only shows Congress is fearing the vote against the TRS is going to BJP, which Congress is reading the ground situation very well. So it wants to pull everything under their arsenal. So I see, madam, to answer it point blank, I see a desperation from Congress where they want to bring DMK also inside in Telangana for campaigning because they know it is going the BJP's way. Sir, uh, welcome, sir. Uh, before this, 